I turn now to News Nation correspondent Evan Lambert, who is standing by in Charleston, South Carolina. Evan, we're looking at pictures of the destruction of what Hurricane Ian did as it battered the Gulf Shore. And it is headed your way. And I know the officials there were watching these same pictures too. Yeah, and that has to be weighing on their minds, Ashley. And I say that as the winds start to pick up here. We have seen gusts today of up to 50 miles an hour. We expect that to be 70, 75 tomorrow when the worst of this gets here. That is expected in about 12 or so hours. We're talking about uh, maybe noon, according to the emergency management official here who I spoke with tonight. I want to show you what we're seeing right now. Uh, but hopefully, uh, everyone is hoping that there's nothing like when Ian hit Southwest Florida. But you can see the seagrasses here blowing around. We are just standing right in front of Charleston Harbor here at the Battery, this historic landmark. The trees are blowing as well. Right now, no rain. Uh, just about an hour or so ago, there were some heavy bands of rain that moved through. We are what is the outer bands of Ian right now, but still hours away from what will be the worst of it here in Charleston. When I was talking with that emergency official earlier tonight, he said, look, people in Charleston, they are used to flooding. They don't call this the low country for nothing, right? So anytime there is a big rainstorm, these areas get a lot of water. But he said they are expecting this to be a major flooding event tomorrow, something that they want to stress to people to make sure that they are taking those preparations. We should note that there are really are no evacuations ordered at the state level. People in Charleston, those officials, have been advising anyone who is in low-lying areas to get to a safer place ahead of Smart. that flooding storm surge, expected to be yeah. possibly eight feet. Uh, but so that is something that they're warning people to, to do and to take this seriously, don't be complacent. Uh, but we were talking with some people around today, uh, some of them who've lived here for a long time, they were the ones that were planning we did see some boards up. We did see some sandbags out, but not really Boy, I a hope wide they take amount heed, of preparation. Evan, I uh, hope so they take the heed. officials here I'll want them to what. do that. This seven to eight feet of storm surge is expected there, and it only takes four to five inches to wipe out the historic downtown of, of Charlotte, or of, uh, you know, Charleston, sorry. So I really hope they, they do uh, be careful. Evan, stand by if you will. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.